everyone, I am Mephisto. I am from War Thunder. I'm going to... As you, well, as you can see on my screen, this is Mouse Joystick. This is a tutorial for Mouse Joystick. Now, here, now here's a little simple thing before I, before I begin showing you all the different stuff about it. There is not many people in War Thunder that knows what mouse joystick is. I've asked around. There are people that don't know. There are people. There are people that do know. There are people that don't care, obviously. And there are people that that have heard of it but don't know how to use it. Shut up, stupid radio operator. But um, this is going to be a video to show to show people not only what mouse joystick is, but what. But it is also going to help those that want to use it to use it better. Now, this is about my 50th time using this just for this video. I need to at least get somewhat good with it so I can get this beautiful, beautiful P51 here into the air. Well, it's sitting on the ground at the moment, but you know what I mean. But first off, let me go to the controls and just show you how to activate mouse joystick. You see, I'm in realistic control mode. I scroll down to where it says mouse usage. I click mouse usage. Normally it is set on none, but I switched it to mouse joystick. And this is just the settings that I have for now to just to show you what this is. And also you can force your joystick you can also force your mouse joystick to go center with a button it doesn't really matter what whatever you want your mouse wheel obviously you can do whatever you want with it I set it to my throttle but you can set it to something else whatever the reason why I have it set to realistic control mode is because realistic control mode does not have the instructor that is the key difference between mouse joystick and realistic controls and mouse joystick and simplified controls you see right there that is the difference instructor and the instructor wait you, like if when you're first starting out i would advise using simplified controls because it has the instructor it'll help all it will do is that, a, is that it will help you get used to it. It will help you get used to the mouse joystick. It will help you not crash and burn all the time. But when you start, to, when you get used to, when you get used to it, the instructor is just a big old, just a big old jerk. He, he's just a, he's a douche. He's not gonna, he, he won't let you do some of the stuff that you want to do. That's why I switched to realistic controls. Because I can do more stuff. However, as, as some of you have noticed, I have my mouse joystick mode set to simplified. There are two modes: standard and simplified. I'm going to show you both of them in this video. This is, and this right here, I just noticed it is to either make it a circle or a square. That's all that does. And now let's begin this tutorial. Look carefully at the. If you look carefully at our control services, you will notice that. Hold on. That. That. Sorry, the sound is just getting too loud. But as you've noticed, the this little dot right here that I'm moving, that is the joystick. It. Yeah, that is the tracking dot itself. You point it somewhere, and that is where your that that is the direction that your plane will roll. It's not going to move there like mouse, like mouse aim. In mouse aim, you just point and the plane will go there. It'll do whatever move it wants. But if you just put it over here and then leave it over here, it'll just do that. So you need to constantly move this in order to give it, in order to make it do what you want. It is not going. You will not be able to point and make it make it go to a specific point on your screen you do this it will keep going if you don't move it back to center see 
Just move it. Just do that. Move it up. Keep okay, going up and up and up and up and up. And, up. and it will eventually and obviously flip over. If you've no if you noticed with with the uh hold on, hold on, hold on, come on, come on you. Uh oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, there we go. Yay! I'm alive. Okay, you just witnessed me uh that that, that was actually my first successful attempt at pulling out of a spin. <laughs> uh Okay, but this is simplified joystick. The key difference between a simplified joystick, I mean simplified mouse joystick and standard mouse joystick is that you point this little dot up, the plane will go up. You point this little dot down, the plane will go down. You are not a, it will, like if you flip the plane with say uh, W, A, S, or D, like that, it will automatically make itself go, make itself, it will automatically reorient itself to where the cockpit is pointing to the sky. But also, this is what happens when I hold C to be able to look around. It will stay here. It will stay in the little spot, but I can look around and all that neat things that everybody is used to. So there's no worries about it automatically snapping back to center. And now let's go after this target over here. I can tell. I will promise all of you right now. This takes a lot of practice. It, I'm just making it look simple. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay. Now this. Now that is just all the quirks and kinks about. About a uh, simplified mouse joystick. Now, let me show you. And, I, and obviously, you can set your mouse control to. In all, all of this, all of this, you're gonna need to figure it out yourself. You just play with it. Get used to it, figure out what works for you, and all of that good stuff. And also, here's a here's a fun here's a fun little fact that not many people realize. Like say with your rudder, your yaw axis, you can set that to relative control. This doesn't all it doesn't have to be 100% or not. See that? Once you like, if it's not on relative control, it's 100% or 0%. That's it. All you get with relative control. However, you set it to you set relative control to yes, you can increase the value of, of like you can increase the angle a, angle of your rudder or other control surfaces for that matter incrementally. You don't have to just do 100% or 0%. It could be 50, and you can keep it at 50. It could be 25, and you can keep it at 25. It can be 90, you can keep it at 90 for any control service. It works for all of them. And just to prove my, just to prove my point. Okay, maybe it doesn't work all of them. Okay, never mind. I I I was wrong. Huh. Okay, that's odd. What is it? Why is there only a, uh, a relative control for the rudder? Huh. Okay, that's weird. So it's only for your rudder. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to the mouse joystick. Okay, now watch what happens when I move this little dot that you see in the center of the screen. Oh. See that? It now acts like our actual joystick. And this remove when you set it to standard joystick, it removes all the hindrances of simplified joystick. You can you can legitimately roll your plane upside down and keep it that way. See?
you can keep it that way, you can roll it back, it, it gets rid of every single hindrance that all the other control modes use. Now let's see what happens when we Okay, let's see let's see if I can shoot anything with this with this control mode. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, nope, 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 okay. Okay, screw the shooting. <laughs> I'm honestly not used to flying this way, but as you all can see, this is mouse joystick. This is Mephisto. And I'm spinning out. Or trying to at the very least. Come on, there we go. Okay, that was a lot easier than I thought. Okay, um, yeah, just message me on the forums if you need any assistance with it or any other questions you may have. Thank you and have a nice day.